Hey everyone, Boxlow back again and <clears throat> you are seeing me with Hogwarts Legacy. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been playing much in the last week or so, I've stopped playing No Man's Sky. <clears throat> I got to that position where I just got, started to get bored with it and losing interest. So this is the first game that I've bought for ages. And as you can see, I've got a character to level 9 and I'm really enjoying this game. As far as I'm concerned, it's really cool. But it's going to be a long let's play, I reckon, if I go through with it all because the actual gameplay is quite long for me. And because of the let's play, I'm so, I've got to this level with this character. I'm going to keep him. His name's Monday Moonwalker, but I'm going to create a new character just for this uh, Let's Play. <clears throat> so we start from scratch. So let's go to a new character and start from the beginning. And hope someone's going to enjoy it. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen videos on the Hogwarts Legacy that other people have started playing because it's not quite a week old yet. Um, I got it, when did I get it? Yesterday or the day before? <laughs> See now, I can't remember if I got it. Mon I think I got it on Monday. Anyway, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. I'm not going to read all that out. I've just read that little bit. So, let's start the game. Um, what should we have? Um, should we have a uh, boy or a girl? We'll have a boy, I think. It'll be best. See, I like that face, so that's what I chose. Mm, I should choose a different one compared to the other one. Um, just, I know what I do. Just uh, try a different style of hair. Um, so we choose that one. And face shape. Well, I'll keep it as it is. I quite like that shape. Hair colour, right, this is where it's going to be different. It's going to be blue, not, not green. We'll have blue hair. If we can find it. Not the mauve. No, I don't want normal brown or white. I want blue. We've got a green. Oh. Ah. Out here somewhere. Give him. Ah. <laughs> I don't know why, but my mouse creeps to the left when I click. It's got to be a blue. It's got to be quite bright blue. Um, that's more green now, isn't it? Does it go? Okay, it goes red. So blue's around here. Uh, so look. Yeah, that colour will do. Complexion. <clears throat> Let's see what it changes. Too reddish. Mm, it's right to the right. Freckles and moles. No, I don't want freckles. No scars or marking. Let's have a look. No, he's got to be a good looking boy, so... <laughs> My colours, for me, it's always going to be blue. Or sort of blue. Let's see what that looks like. There we go, that'll do. Eyebrow colour. Wouldn't be the same as his hair, but I can get it the same. There we go. I have a colour, what's this one? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. You've either got... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. <laughs> <laughs> a didn't few sound right for me. dust. Uh, Nothing pitch. to be concerned about. Let's try the pitch, see what the difference is. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. 
It was wonderful. A few cobwebs and some dust. I'm eager to get to Hogsm. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Nah. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That's it. Right, and as I've got Monday, it's going to be Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Um, oh, you know, Tuesday, get it right. Ah. Tuesday morning, Rocker, okay. that's his brother. I don't know why I want that name, I just want that name. Okay, start your journey, let's go. The attention to detail in this game is um, really cool. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Someone's going to enjoy my let's play on this. Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing as usual. But we'll see how we go. But I've enjoyed it so far. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. 
It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Wigan Weld potion. That stuff will write you in Wigan a second. Wigan Weld. Took me quite a while to get used to the wanding, by the way. <laughs> what I died happened? twice. Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid air? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? Yeah, I'm using keyboards, guys. Not controller, I'm hopeless with controller. I'm pretty hopeless with the keyboard as well. <laughs> London and the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. So would I. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. After mind your steps. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But 
But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! Use your camera to select an active target, which is a cool option. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. So if you look at it and highlight it, you can shoot it. <laughs> or one day. Works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Ah, up there. Now it's just ahead. Give me one practice. <laughs> Steady yourself. The graphics are quite good. Repair. Initially, I had everything on ultra. I do lose some frame rate on certain areas, so I put some of the stuff down to high. Um, <clears throat> at the moment, Almost there. on these settings, I get about 60, 65 frames per second, which is cool. <laughs> Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay, you can read that, guys. <clears throat> Minimap just come into being. To investigate. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. The only thing missing, I think, out of the game, you need a first person view, um, which it doesn't have. We've got to go and search around, so. There's a statue here. Professor. This statue? This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Go away for the professor. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Come on. There we go. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. 
were ported Where into the are room. We? I don't believe it. So cool. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Now keep your hands inside the cart. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Oh. Just saw a chest to my right. Looks 
hope they can let us get to it. Thank you for your help. First bit of money. We haven't got the reveal spell yet, so you have to physically look. There's nothing more. So that's our first bit of um, dosh. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. <laughs> Wait. Uh, he locks you in. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something. There we go, here. Revelio. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. You got to follow the uh, line. So if we start it off, just follow it through. Ah! Won't be quicker than that. I'm going to get caught again. Ah! Spell. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Make sure there's nothing else in here. No. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! That's our next spell, Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? To start I using do. these spells Revenge. straight away. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Greenhouse. Because it will shine up items that we can loot. Hopefully. Gonna be the one of the most used spells in I the see game, I think. Up ahead. What is it? Revelli that glow again. But on the floor. I'm sure there's some chips around here somewhere. Let's go around first before we get to that. the option to um F it there we go. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. 
Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, it's a half second spell. Let's see if I can get this the first time. So we've got to go there. I guess put on number one. There we go. You've acquired the one lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. There we go. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. This is where I've died a few times, or was it the next one? Yeah, this is where I died. Getting used to the one. Look out! Potato! At you! Defecto! Let the Oso depose! Expose! Concentrating, guys. Are there any more? Lumos. Professor. Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. There we go, let's Where check. am I supposed to go? Look what's happening. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. No more. Lumos. Just keep using... Revelio. Revelio. There's another one. Lumos. Revelio. See, there's another one there, though. Lumos. Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Where's that chest? Revelio. Protego. Ah. Lumos. Go on, dear. We need the dots. Revelio. Okay. Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Now this one you think that you're doing singularly, but you can't. So go Lumos. Lumos. And you can't do one at a time, you've got to do all three, uh, three of them. If I move away now, you'll go back down. So there's a certain area where you can get all three. There we go. Seems I have no choice. I need to align these statues with their reflections. During Protego to stun enemy to the Superfly counter attack. Oh, you gotta hold on to it to do that. Which I don't generally do. Oh.
Combat system is really good, but it's a bit tricky to Rebellion. learn what to do. <laughs> Did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. 
Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to... Nasty, I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. <laughs> well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. It's nearly the prologue finish. I've only watched um, the very first Harry Potter film. I'm not a Harry Potter's fan as such, but I did like the original film. That was years ago. So I haven't really followed it much, but the game is slightly different, but it's cool. Very immersive. Well, it, well for me it is. It's very subjective though, isn't oh, it? Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony?
Tinius, night jealous, black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. The candle suspended in midair. <laughs> so cool. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. No. Now, my choice is um, from remembering the film, so I don't want to go to Ravenclaw, so I want to choose a different one, which is Gryffindor, because that's what I remember of the film, so I chose it on the other character as well, so we'll go Gryffindor. Possess a willingness to forge your head alone when you must. So that's what we're going to do, except Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying... Love the I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. 
I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Okay, this is the morning Looks after. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts. Quest started. Okay, guys, that's um, the prologue done. Um, when I did this initially, <laughs> I was shooting all the books. Look. Hoping that that would do something, but it doesn't. You can shoot them, but anyway, it's highlighted. Like so I cleared the room out thinking maybe you get something from it, but you don't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I hope someone's going to enjoy my Let's Play. Now, this is what I'm going to call this one, and the uh, next one will just carry on straight after this. So the next video will show him get, getting out and f finding his common room. So. I reckon that's good as a start. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Because of all the... Um, speaking of all the NPCs, the, the locals, you won't get me chatting so much, which is a good uh, thing, I suppose. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session so far. It's only the um, prologue of the game, so... <clears throat> we'll carry on in the next episode. Well, I'll see what um, sort of reception I get for this one, whether I carry on actually recording, but I'm going to carry on playing. Anyway, guys, I am so glad if you got this far with me, and I thank you so much, and I will catch you in the next one. So, see you soon. <laughs>